guys welcome back today we are going to be talking about how to live in ghana and be happier than the billionaire that's the topic for today before we get into that i wanted to try something a little bit different on my channel and maybe just show you a little behind the scenes of what goes on in my life here in accra ghana while we talk about what we have to talk about so today i'm just going to be saying what i get up to in a day i'm going to be going out to the city with me and seeing my beautiful beautiful city that i live in accra and just run around and do some things i do basically behind the scene of life as a youtuber living in accra ghana I wanted to spice things up a bit and keep things more interesting here on the channel instead of the regular sit down face to face video i do enjoy doing those face to face videos but i just felt maybe let's do something a little bit different and just show you my life a bit also but do let me know if you prefer the face to face video or maybe you just like staring at my face because i do love making those videos too but we're making those ones and we just been missing it up with behind the scenes a footage as we talk about our topic i'll be doing both yeah we'll just keep it a little bit more interesting here on my channel so today we'll be talking about how to live in ghana and be happier than the billionaire if this is your first time on my channel hi my name is vanessa and i live in accra ghana i moved to ghana three years ago and here on my channel i share my experiences here living in ghana and also provide insight on how to live a successful life here in ghana so if any one of those things you just heard now sound a little bit interesting to you i create some personal vlogs and fashion videos also don't forget to check the channel out and check all of the videos out and as always hit the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up and share the video with your friends also friends and family that really helped my channel grow a lot thank you so much and i appreciate and if you are a returning subscriber thank you for coming back thank you for always watching my video it means a lot to me before you leave also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up like the video subscribe to my channel if you've not already and turn your notification bell on so you'll be notified when i post the next one and let's get right into it guys let me know in the comment section below if anything i say here on this video if you have a different opinion from mine or you have a different experience from me before we get into that i wanted to try something a little bit different on my channel and maybe just show you a little behind the scenes of what goes on in my life so how to live in ghana and be happier than a billion we'll be talking about five crucial points number one of those is living a luxurious but very affordable lifestyle in ghana the first way you can live in Ghana and be happier than the billionaire is basically setting a realistic budget and focusing on the things that really matter to you, setting a strategic budget and basically just focusing on things that are truly, truly, truly important to you. The situation with most people living in the West is they live a, a this life that appear from the outside world like they are very happy, they are extremely happy, they have a lot of luxury things. But oftentimes this is not the case. I'm not saying this is the case with everyone, but most times those material things you see in the world with, with people, you think they have all of these flashy cars, they are not actually living a, a very happy life. You see, like if you are living in the West and you, you have your budget, oh, I'm going to buy this particular a uh, car i'm going to buy this luxurious house my dream car my dream house i'm going to go on these trips buy all of this luxurious outfit that i often want and when i'm able to finally afford them i will finally be happy you find out that when this is your goal because your goal is uh, often time focus on the materialistic things you, you find out that you are working endlessly just to be able to afford some of these things you have to be afford the, the car the house and all of the luxuries you want and before you know when you afford or when you're able to afford these things and you now have access to all of them and you think oh you're happy often with the mindset that when you finally work very hard and you're able to get your dream house and get your dream car then your happiness will like be infinite like you'll be very happy you'll finally be at peace with yourself so you end up slaving away and working extra hard just to be able to afford your dream car and afford your dream house and all of the luxurious things you've always wanted thinking that this will make you happy when you finally achieve them 
and it does work don't get me wrong i'm not saying things like that don't give happiness personally i like material things too i like to be able to afford some things i want but when you work endlessly just to afford all of these luxurious things and now you think oh yeah now i have all of these things i can finally be happy you tend to see that the happiness is oftentimes short-lived because before you know you're not wanting something else and you start working for that particular thing again and the cycle continues you keep on working and working trying to buy more stuff or get more things and most times these things you they are being funded with uh, mortgages personal loans credit card and all of that car loans and all of that so before you know you'll be living in debt you're working very hard to pay off your mortgages you're working very hard to pay off your car loans you're working very hard to pay off uh, your personal loans you use in getting all of these luxurious things that you want and before you know you, you find yourself that you're not a slave to the system you're just working to pay off more stuff and you're acquiring more stuff and paying off more stuff and acquiring more stuff and paying off more stuff so that's why i said yes. the happiness is often working and you keep, because it's a continuous process you keep on working and you keep on working trying to acquire more more materialistic things and your happiness is thereby centered around the things you are able to acquire and because you are working endlessly to pay off these things you, you find out that your happiness is actually very short-lived i'm not saying this is the case with everyone living in the west because there are some people living in the west actually earning a very good living working very amazing jobs they are able to afford all the things they want themselves and they are happy and they are not living in debt i'm not saying everyone in the western world in america in the uk they are living a debt life you no know, some are living debt free life so it's not the case with everyone i'm just talking about the particular set that they've been living this life and the continuous process of working to pay off debt and i wanted to move back to africa yes ghana we are we actually give you the opportunity to be able to live a, a more simpler more luxurious lifestyle and a debt-free lifestyle and you'll be able to like live an affordable but luxurious lifestyle here in ghana now if you fall in the category of those living like a, a, a life where you have to like work on not just to pay off debt mortgages credit card spending money you don't necessarily have just to live a luxurious lifestyle in the west one day you might wake up and you discover that you are not really as happy as you used to be when you used to live a more moderate and in any more simpler lifestyle when you were living in a rented apartment or maybe when you were even back home in Ghana or in Africa where you were thinking you were so poor you find out that you have access to some of these things in the West and you are still not as happy as you used to be back home the truth about the West is the more you, the more properties you collect the more miserable you could end up being I'm not saying the more miserable you will be because this does not happen to everybody but the more properties you collect the more miserable you could end up being you become saddled with a lot of debt, trying to pay off credit cards, trying to pay off mortgages. If this is you, if you are tired of the life you are living in the West, you are... then Ghana is here to the rescue. In Ghana, when you have a, when you plan your life strategically, you be you will find out that you are able to afford a certain level of luxury and not even have to work half as hard as you were working in the West. With a lesser quality of life now in ghana there are mortgages but people don't necessarily uh, 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 take mortgages to build houses here in ghana people oftentimes build their houses from scratch with the money they have and what they are able to afford so you find out that most homes that are owned in ghana here yeah, they are owned by the owners 100 percent there are no mortgages that are paying off now this some are mortgage i'm not saying there are no mortgages but you get what i'm trying to say so when you come back to ghana you are living a debt-free life you are living you are living in a house that you own 100 percent by yourself you find that you are stressing a whole lot lesser than you were stressing before you moved to ghana the joy of living in a home without the fear of uh, repossession or foreclosure by the bank or all the fear of driving a car without the fear of being repossessed you know just with the fear of uh, and just getting into a lot of uh, head heartache just to be able to pay us and stuff when you are living a life free of all these things you find out that you are able to afford the more luxurious life so the first way you can live here in ghana and be happier than a billionaire is setting a realistic budget focus on the things that are important to you live an enjoyable life 
Number two, escape the rat race. The story is oftentimes the same for everyone living in the West. It's just a continual process of walking endlessly, having long commute hours to get from your work to your home, doing two to three jobs, just chasing your own circle around and around and around and around, walking endlessly just to be able to afford some basic things in life, spending all of your time, all of the time you have in this world, basically being at work, commuting from work to your home, you get home, you are tired, you sleep for a while, you wake up and you are back to it again. It's just a continuous process and a continuous cycle that keeps on working. You keep on working and working and working and repeating itself over and over again. I know America and most times the Western what is often times referred to as the land of the free. But are they truly free? It's a lifestyle of working continuously. I'm not saying working is a bad thing. I love hardworking people. But what exactly are you working for? What's the quality of life you will have? Of all the work you are doing, all of the hard work you are doing, working endlessly, the long commute hours, spending all of your time, your prime, just commuting from one place to another, working endlessly, working long hours, spending hours in commutes, their subway system. From what some live in a, city, a, a different town and they go to another city to work. So it takes them power to get from one city to another just to be able to work because they are not able to afford a, a rent or houses in the city where their jobs is. So you often see that the rat race is everyone is so busy in the West. Like it's always like you are always in the movie, you are always looking for ways to earn money. You are always you 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 have no time to like I'm just going to sit and not do anything for you. Moving to Ghana, we actually afford you the opportunity to be able to move at your own pace and be able to do things the way you want to do things, to be able to work as hard as you want to work and still be able to afford a very luxurious life. So you find out that you're not working too much, your life is moving, life is moving at a totally different pace here in Ghana. Everyone is not in each other's faces all of the time. People are not killing themselves just to be able to afford rentage and all of that you 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 find out that your your life becomes a little bit more easier not even a little bit a whole lot easier than it was in the western world and you find out that when you are not living a, 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 at a totally different pace at moving at your own pace you are not stressing your yourself you discover that you become a lot more creative and a lot more productive because you now have all the time in the world for yourself and more often time when you become more creative and become more productive you actually find that you start making way more money than you you might have been making in the west or maybe even lesser than that but you find that you are living a better life with the little money you are making than the one you are making in the west with I had a friend come visit me sometime last month and she saw my American neighbors, these black Americans, they just moved the whole family to Ghana and they live in my estate and we are all very cool with each other and she was wondering why someone would give up their life in the West just to move to Ghana. I was like, you don't know, these people deciding to move back home to Ghana, they know that Ghana will afford them a more better life or maybe they want something different from the life they were living abroad so don't think because they were living somewhere else or they were living abroad they have a much better life and you are not thinking oh because they give up that life they are being naive no they are not they are wanting a better life which is why they moved here to africa there is no crazy expectation on them they are not working themselves to death just to be able to afford something and this mindset my friend had is the mindset that most africans have we in africa we tend to think people living in the diaspora they work in they, they, they pluck money or maybe they manufacture money or they work in money they have a lot of money it, it you find that people back home are oftentimes entitled thinking oh they are supposed to bring this for us and bring this for that you don't know what your brothers and your sisters abroad are doing just to earn a living so that sense of entitlement oftentimes ruin our experiences back home in africa because we think they are living a better life and they should be able to provide us more whereas these people that are just trying to make a living and live their day-to-day -day life about theory is being able to spend more quality time with your family and friends being able to spend quality time with the people you love is oftentimes not regarded as something that's very important 
But to me, in my own book and in my own dictionary, spending time with people you love, letting them letting them know you love them and that quality time you are spending with them is all time worth more than all of the riches in this world. I'm not saying money is not good. I love money. I love actually living in comfort. But being having access to your family all of the time is is one blessing that we can never look down on. Often time people in the West, most black homes in the West, like African immigrants in the West, you find out that the husband is working the night shift the wife is working the day shift and the husband is coming home the wife is going the wife is coming the husband is going they take turn in taking care of their children they are barely home together with the children at a specific time and in some cases these parents are even working multiple jobs so they might even be missing out on raising their children you see one particular parent we missing we, we actually be missing out on some very important uh, 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 my stones in the child's life and you often find find out that teenagers from black homes in most of this western world they they have no parental supervision because the parents are working three jobs just to be able to provide for them and i don't blame them because they want a better life for their children obviously but you find out that they have no time to spend quality time with the family because they're working just to earn a living whereas when you move back to ghana here and you have a job or you have a business you're able to provide for your family you still see that you're able to provide very well for your family but you still have enough time to spend with people you love letting them know you love them you know one thing in ghana here in africa mostly is our extended family is very much important in our life and still involved you do not you can't even cut off a family even if you wanted to cut the family off so you find out that you are you these people they are willing to pitch in and help you out when it's necessary you're able to f- spend time without your favorite cousin life is actually more easier and you find that you're happier with the people you love in your life now don't get me wrong i get the fact that there are several african immigrants in the u.s or in the uk in diaspora are we actually driven from their specific country because of war like war children are so living uh, abroad or living in the diaspora is actually the dream life for them i understand this so when they have to work twice as hard as to earn a living i do not necessarily for them i can never for them because that's the life they have now they were not given an opportunity to be able to live a peaceful life back home but if you are from ghana where you have opportunity to come back and be able to live a better life than you are living and you've been wanting something more for yourself this is why i'm saying move back to ghana and live happier than a billionaire i'm not trying to disregard all of those families that actually need to live abroad so if you're an african in diaspora or you're black in diaspora wanting to move back to africa move back home to africa consider doing it you don't necessarily have to move to ghana there are several other countries in africa that provide the same opportunities ghana provide i'm just using ghana as a case for this book i obviously live in ghana so i can always speak about ghana then make your research and move back and live a better life if you want to if you're not happy with your life here if you here will offer you a better life number four but before we get into number four if you are here and you are still watching please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel that helps me a lot so number four number four is rediscovering yourself and finding the things that you're actually passionate about you find out that when you move back to ghana and you're not living the rat race in the west you are not being a overly a uh, moving from place to place just always been busy you find you find out that because you have enough time not to spend with yourself and to be able to relax your life is moving at the perfect pace or the particular pace that you wanted to move at you you discover your that you have you might have is a side of you that you've not discovered in now you have a maybe um, you discover that maybe you have a creative side take me as an example i moved from nigeria here it's not like i moved from anywhere else but in nigeria my life was really all about making money doing this is what i need to be doing this is what i need to be doing my i was actually making this money i have a very good life i'm not nigeria offer you most of these things ghana offer you but particularly for me when i moved to ghana and my whole life changed like my life i moving at a different pace 
Ghana gave me the opportunity to actually rediscover my love for reading, my love for writing. I started writing in Ghana, I started my blog in Ghana, I started writing professionally in Ghana and making a living from writing in Ghana. And Ghana is obviously where I started my YouTube channel. My creative side came alive here in Ghana. And this is me just moving from Nigeria. It's not like I moved from the Dasura. So if you if you're in the Dasura living the very busy life, consider moving back and you discover you have a more cre- a creative side to you is now more relaxed you get to realize that oh yeah you can be creative you get to rediscover yourself i've seen a lot of people who relocated to ghana who and they rediscover themselves and they are not in, in touch with side to them that they didn't know they had before even moving to ghana it starts why you see all these people saying oh my life has changed in ghana my life has changed in ghana it's not necessarily because they came to Ghana and there is this mass of wet that just fell into them or then they become suddenly rich. No. They came to Ghana and they will discover peace, they will discover quality light, calmness to their day-to-day life and they are able to rediscover themselves and just be able to live another standard of life and a quality life. So basically, you locate to Ghana, find your passion and rediscover yourself. There is something about living in Ghana that brings out the best in you. You actually bring out the best in all returning. Move to Ghana and live the best life and be happier than a billionaire. Number five is mo- is moving to Ghana and having a better quality life. I spoke about it in my in my earlier video. There's a video I made about Ghana, living in Ghana. Ghana is heaven. I will have that tag somewhere here in the top section. Yeah. So there is a video like that I made where I talk about quality standard of life. People not higher standard of life because more often time people miss quality to to high. High standard of life basically means materialistic thing. But quality standard of living is basically living in life where you are not too stressed, living a healthy life because the stress of the Western will often time come with sickness, obesity. And this 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 stress coupled with the fact that they eat a um, uh, lot of processed food, there are not enough organic foods there, and even the organic food are oftentimes way too expensive to afford for an, an average earner in the Western world. So most times the people just focus on processed food alone, which is easier to assess and a lot more cheaper to assess. So because of all of this processed thing, you see the the, the the, the the rate of diabetes is high high blood pressure is high you see people obesity you know people literally living an unhealthy lifestyle there and when you move to ghana and you live a better standard of living than the one you were living they're not saying high standard of living quality standard of living because you are, you are living life at a different pace and you are moving at your own pace you are you are literally living a luxurious life at a very affordable a rate here in Ghana, you are living a debt free life. You don't, you are not sleeping with the de- with the fear of oh, maybe tomorrow the bank might come and foreclose my house on me. You are not working three jobs just to be able to make rent for the month. When you are not doing all of that, you you tend to see that your life become a little bit more easier, and you tend to see that you li- you live a more healthy life that way. So you yeah, move to Ghana and have a better standard of living than the one you have where you are so if you are still watching this video all up to here don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like this video and comment your honest opinion in the comment section and also subscribe it will help my channel out a lot hope you enjoyed today's video and i'll see you in the next one and as always guys don't forget to treat people with kindness in a world where you can be anything i really hope you choose kindness people need kindness more these days so treat people with kindness bye guys